In this video, I'm going to show how I made this pegboard for my office. I used two sheets of 606 by 1220mm MDF boards, which I bought from my local DIY shop, and painted them both with at least two coats of white undercoat paint. I decided to use MDF to reduce the weight on my wall, but in hindsight, I'd probably use plywood sheets in future just to have cleaner holes when uh, drilling. Line both of the boards up together and decide how you want to paint them. Uh, I chose to go a bit abstract and use masking tape to help keep my lines straight when painting, but obviously skip this if you just want to keep it one colour. Decide where you want your colours to be. You don't need much paint for this, even with a couple of coats of each, I only needed sample pots. I personally decided the dark green was too dark so I painted back over it with the undercoat and then repainted it a pale pink instead. I think this looks a lot better. Once it's fully dry you can then peel back the masking tape. Turn both the boards over so then they're face down together and decide how many holes you'd like in your pegboard. I chose to make a hole every 20 centimetres, vertically and horizontally, so I measured these out to form a grid. And for every point the lines crossed on the grid, this is where I'll drill my holes. Drill small holes on each of these points you've made on the grid. So this is one of my boards from the front. So now you can see where to drill the main holes without needing to draw on the front of the board. So using the pilot holes that I drilled, I then used a 28mm drill bit to drill out all of the holes. Before you drill all the holes, make sure that your dowel fits. So here's my completed pegboard with all the holes cut out. To hang this onto the wall, we decided to use a French cleat, which we made ourselves. So you can see it here, it's a piece of wood that is cut in half at a 45 degree angle. The idea being that you screw the bottom piece of wood directly to the wall and the top piece onto the pegboard so that the two then slot together on the wall. So we clamp the piece of wood to the workbench and then we cut the piece of wood at a 45 degree angle. We then also made some holes in the wood to then screw this onto the wall and also onto the pegboard. To attach the French cleat to the wall, we started by drilling small holes with the smallest drill bit and then increasing in size slowly until we got to the desired size we needed for our wall plugs. We used metal cavity fixings for this as it's quite a heavy load. So as you screw these into the wall, the expanding arms swing open and press into the reverse side of the plasterboard. So once these are set, you can then remove the screw, ready to screw into the French cleat. We attach the French cleat first to the pegboard. This was so we could ensure there was no overhang from the French cleat, either from the top of the pegboard or blocking any of the pegboard holes as well. We've already drilled the holes in the French cleat wood, so we just now need to screw it in to secure that tightly to the pegboard. Screw 
through the other half of the French cleat into the metal cavity wall fixings and make sure that it's all level. Repeat this for the French cleat at the bottom of the pegboard as well. You can see here we've got our French cleats top and bottom of the pegboard and now we just need to lift the pegboard up and over the top of the French cleat to secure that in place. My pegboard got a bit dirty from all the drilling so I decided to refresh mine with another coat of paint. So I'm using a 28mm dowel here and I'm cutting this down to 8cm lengths. I also tried 10cm long dowels but I found that these were a bit too long. Clamping the spirit level in place means that all my dowels are going to be the same length. sanded the edges of my dowel to make it nice and neat but try not to sand the actual dowel itself or else you might find they're a bit small for the hole. I've experimented using different hooks and I found that these ones worked really well once I took the outer protective layer off. So now you can add these into your pegboard. So here's the completed pegboard. I use mine as a macrame station, so I use this for measuring my yarns. As well as a way of holding my dowels while I'm creating my art. Let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this and whether you're gonna give it a go. Thanks for watching.